Hi everyone, I'm at this 1960s property with our asbestos expert Steve. Steve is going to guide us through this property and show us where asbestos containing material may be found. Steve, I guess the first question is, what are the telltale signs that it's in fact from the 60s? The way you can tell it's a 60s property is that I'm looking at the casement windows. Now the casement windows were actually a timber frame window. Then they sort of mid 60s to 70s, early 70s, they started to move into aluminium frame windows. Plus we also got the chamfer boards. They're a four inch or a hundred millimeter chamfer board, which is indicative of the 1960s. Thanks Steve. Let's have a look through the property. We've moved in the kitchen from outside and I've identified it looks like two different types of products were used in the kitchen. You've got the ceiling sheet and you've got the wall sheeting. Now in the ceiling sheet, I believe this is an asbestos containing material. And the reason I can tell by that it is an asbestos containing material is that when you look at the lighting, you can actually see like a, a little dimple effect on the outside. You also got clout head nails that are finished proud of the product because of the hardness and never went in. And also there is two holes where a smoke detector had been fitted and I can actually see the grey, which is indicative of asbestos container material or fibro sheeting. Looking at this wall sheeting here, even though it looks similar to the sheeting up there, up, the, up on the ceiling, it is not. And I can also tell by the feel and also the, the nail heads are actually indicative of a masonite head nail. And even though they use the same cover strip, that wall sheeting is not an asbestos container material. Just coming into the sunroom or it looked like an, uh, an old veranda that they have enclosed. I've identified by just looking at it, it, it seems to be an asbestos containing material. And the reason I can tell that is by the dimple effect on it. It's got cloud head nails that are protruding. Looking around the room, I can see that there is different cover strips here and different product, but I can see that it was painted and it, it, it appears to have been a masonite wall, the paint has come off and that is a timber product, it's not asbestos containing material. Outside here we've got, you can see that there is a suffete continues around and follows around the perimeter of the building underneath the roof. Uh, that is an asbestos containing material and you can actually see the cover strips and the cloud head nails. I've identified there is an asbestos container material, which is the vent pipe and that comes through where the joint is where the cast iron pipe is going up and through the suffit and through the roof. And you can see also a bit of dimpling effect. So that is indicative of an asbestos containing material. This is an asbestos containing material called shadow line. You can see there's a protruding cloud head nail there. And I can also see that gray color there. The paint has removed, come off. And that tells me that is uh, an asbestos containing material. Well, Steve, what's the safest way to remove asbestos? Well, I believe the safest way is to firstly engage somebody like a licensed asbestos assessor or an art accredited lab to come over to your property and conduct a survey to find out the location, the type and the condition of your asbestos containing material. So then you've got it in writing. So then when you decide to do your removal, you can actually present that to a licensed asbestos removalist uh, you know what license they need, either A or B, or then you can actually take that to your builder and they can actually engage uh, a licensed asbestos removalist. Great advice. Now, what happens if I've got some mates who are tradies and I'm doing a uh, renovation? Can I use them to remove asbestos? Yes, you can use them as long as they uh, have been trained and, and in safety and safely identifying asbestos, they are aware of it, they know how to wear their PPE and, can, and follow the correct methodology of removing and safely, they are only allowed up to removal up to 10 square metres. Thanks for those great tips. And if you want any more information on any of the advice we've given you here today, then please go online and visit asbestos.qld.gov.au.